can this 6 4 handle a burnout or what? Uh, I hope it can, dude. Let's get it, bro. Let's see what we can do. What's up everybody, Justin Fio back with another video. Today, we're gonna be meeting up with my buddy Reese. He actually has a 6'4 power stroke, as well as a pretty badass shop, so we'll be checking that out. Don't forget, like, subscribe, turn the bell on for notification, add all the social medias. Also, new truck reveal will be coming shortly, so stay tuned for that. Without wasting any more time, see you guys there. So we're just pulling up over here to Reese's shop. Let's see what he's got going on over here. Aw, oh, shit. I see some goodies. What's going on, dude? Let's go, bro. Let's give a little show around the shop. Yeah, let's we'll check this shit out. Show you what's up with this truck. So, guys, if you don't know me, my name's Reese Bowers. I have a YouTube channel called Built From The Bottom, and this is my shop. Let's check it out. But for now, We'll focus on this 6.4 over here. We got the cleanest 6.4 in Florida. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Shooting shots. Right, so this is a 2008 Harley Davidson 6.4. Um, a lot of people didn't think they made Harley Davidson in the 6.4, they stopped at 6.0, but this is one of the few ones that they actually made. Um, there's really not too much different about them. They just have, it's like a platinum. You know, you got upgraded <laughs> interior. Let's see. All this stuff is black. And you got your Harley Davidson thing right there. Oh yeah, it looks really clean in here. And you said you've had what vehicle wise, truck wise? You had a 6.0 so and a 6.7? Um, I had a 6.7. I had the big, I don't know if you saw my big blue 6.0 I had. I don't I think I saw it. 12 inch lifted 6.0 on 24 by 14 American Forces. Then I had a 2006 6.0 that I got, it was red, I got it painted that gunmetal gray. I'm 20 by 12 gears, just like a nice daily driver setup. Um, yeah, and th they came with like the step in this year. Big fan of this. We got our Anderson drop hitch, you know. But between 6.0, you said you also had a 6.7, correct? Yeah, I had a 2011 6.7. Yeah. It was just, I leveled it out. And what do you, how do you compare this to those two trucks? Like, what was your personal favorite out of those? Well, I like this one the most because it's like nicer than, because I had a long bed four door, not a big fan of the long bed truck. But the six, seven, like everybody knows it's a better engine. Uh -huh. This truck has been really good to me. And how many miles are on this though? It's 140. And you've had no issues with it since Absolutely you got it? no issues with it. I don't have an EGR deleted yet. It's running a SET tune on it. The DPF is off of it, and that's like the main problem that these 6.4s would have is instead of uh, in the 2011, the 6.7s, they ran a DEF, which it put exhaust fluid through the exhaust, and these, it would run um, a lot more fuel in cylinder 7 and 8, and that's why these 6.4s got such a bad rep, because it ended up blowing out cylinder 7 and 8 on the truck, so it got 4 inch all the way back, got a 5 inch tip on it. Still, it's the EGR. My kit is coming in the mail. I'm going to end up pulling apart. Open this up. And it's the suspension wise, you just have bigger have coils on here? Two and a half inch block in the front. Two and a half inch block. And these are 2412? 2412 uh, American Force Atom SS's. And then we're running comforters, 35 by 1250s. They were on a previous truck that was seen. Definitely looks good. I really like how this whole black and chrome scheme goes along over here. Pretty good looking engine bay. Oh yeah, I got cold air intake. As you see, we still have this big EGR on it. But overall, is there any other plans with this truck? Are you gonna keep it, sell it? Um, plans wise, I'm just gonna put the delete it with the EGR, do the EGR delete on it, and ride it around until someone comes and buys it. So if you guys want to buy this thing, twenty four thousand. Clean title in hand, 140,000 miles. If you guys are interested, I'll leave his Instagram up on the screen or in the description, so definitely hit him up. Um, other than that, that's about it. It's the 105 year anniversary, uh, Harley Davidson. You know, cause I'm, uh, I'm pretty into the bikes, so having the Harley Davidson truck kind of fits me pretty well. 
Um, we got our spike lugs. You gotta run spike lugs on your forces. Um, a little bit. These are your eBay headlights. They're I think they're like 120 bucks. I kind of wish I bought the ones that were like the new platinums. We got LED bulbs in that. Bunch of love lugs in the car. This thing. You put this in, or did you get it like I this? I put that in. And so between the 6.7, 6.0, and this, if you had to choose one, you would take this? If you had an option? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'd, I'd take a 6.7. 6.7 for six, sure? 6.7 for sure. Um, yeah, no, I just know, like, I'm fully aware of what's gonna happen, like, what can happen to this, or what's gonna eventually happen. So, yeah, no, 6.7 is definitely the most reliable engine there is that power stroke is paid so far. 4.73 dude. 4.73? 4 for sure those are definitely mad reliable though especially for tow rigs or anything like that. Right here we got my first collab ever. This is Justin Fios. What's up guys? Oh. What? That's a pretty fucked up place to park yo. We're shooting a video with 10. Oh yeah! <laughs> So can this 6-4 handle a burnout or what? Uh, I hope it can do. Let's get it bro, let's see what we can do. Seems just to be a reoccurring thing now. Reese lost his keys over here. Always losing keys on this channel. <laughs> I'm lost, dude. They're just not where I know where they are. Bruh. This right here, this is the cheapest Sea Dew Spark in the country. I picked this thing up probably three days ago, I think it was. It has 100 hours on it, it runs, it's got this trick bars. There's like, that's badass. Bike people, you put these bars up and you stand on these pegs and you can like wheelie it and stuff <laughs> on it. Pretty cool. Paid $800 for this thing. It's crazy, dude. What do they actually usually go for? Um, this with this many hours, say like 35 to 4,000 with a trailer. Doesn't have a trailer. I'll put on this trailer back there. Word. The bumps put on it. Got some street bikes here. I uh, did a three part rebuild series on this one. It's an 08 GSXR 1000 or 600. This is a 07 1000. Same thing, 08, but that has a 2011 engine in it. This is 04 CBR 1000 with the newer body kit put on it. And this is a 2007 R6. A lot of bikes. And you fix these and you do all repairs and everything on yeah, street bikes and all that, right? Except for the welding, if something needs welded. 
but pretty much in the paintwork, I take the paintwork and get like taken out. But other than that, like I do everything myself. So if you guys are in the Florida area and do need something done motorcycle wise, definitely hit this man's up. But this shop looks badass. You said you were just got in here a few months ago, right? Yeah, I've been in here for three months now. I love it. It's definitely something like if you're gonna start doing like more higher volume, having more toys, you need something bigger than your garage. Yeah. Sure. Uh, right here, it's a 2013 CURXT 260. And I don't know if you can get back here and check it out, but I got it. I bought it like this, but this thing should be like 85 miles per hour. It has a spun rod bearing on cylinder three. Got the Solus prop in it. We got our boost gauge here, our uh, air to fuel ratio on the fly. I'll pop this thing off and show you. Um, what's going on in here? It has the ceramic washer, or not the ceramic, the Reva washers and the supercharger. Uh, high pressure fuel system, bigger injectors, ECUs flashed. So this thing's pretty fast. I gotta pull. Once I get that spark on this trailer, I figure I'm probably gonna pull the engine out of this, put the new bearing on it before I even start messing with the spark because it'd be pretty disappointing to like take it out and like only have the spark to take out. For sure. So I'll get this all done probably within the next like 10 days. I'm pretty good at pulling these engines out. They're not very heavy. It's a 1500cc engine and it's a three cylinder. I've done it on the RX, the older ones, but they've kept the same block. So. I figure it's gonna be about the same thing to pull apart. Looks mean though. Yeah, dude, these things are like the Lamborghini of uh, jet skis. I think Sea-Doo <laughs> makes the best one for sure. That's badass. You got some more plans coming with this shop though, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a lot more plans. I'm gonna do a really cool car build. Hopefully do a Corvette C7, maybe a V8, Audi R8 rebuild, and um, a really like pimped out four-door Jeep Wrangler. Uh, speaking of Jeep Wranglers, I got a little something right there, but if your viewers uh, want to see more about like what I got going on here, we can maybe do a whole video about that for later. If you guys are interested in some Jeep content, leave it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget, like, subscribe, turn the bell for notifications. Let me know what you think about his 6.4 as well as his shop, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Low, get my damn flex on Going real hard like a DMX song Gotta lay low in a stand back zone Got a girl up north and a fan back home Can't nobody do it like me, man